Hello! Today we are going to go over in Coupa how to process some of the pending receipts, specifically those that are going to require us to short pay the supplier. So the important thing to remember here is we want to give the supplier enough time to process any credits that they might be entering into Coupa. So from a trans transmission standpoint, um, credits have to be transmitted into Coupa the same way invoices do, either through the CXML or the EDI integration or the portal. So it's important we allow our suppliers a little bit of time to be able to put credits into the system. So we want to give our suppliers between 7 and 10 business days to be able to get those credits into the system. Once the credit is in the system, it should offset any of those items that are pending receipt and the system will automatically take the credit and pay the invoice at the same time. Anytime you see an invoice still in the system after more than that 7 to 10 day window, we really want to take a look at it and think, you know, I really want to get this guy paid, but they obviously haven't put the credit in, so we need to maybe short pay this to get them paid, and then they can put a credit in on their side, and so they're not waiting to get paid to issue a small credit. Okay, so today we're going to look at a specific example, the Cisco Lincoln invoice that's been in here since 1023. Um, so that's the due date. So it's actually been in here since 923. Um, and so we're going to open up this this invoice and we can see that there's a couple of price discrepancies, but there's very small or very few line items, as you can see there's no yellows, that are pending receipts. So if I go all the way to the top of the line items, I can actually select which ones are missing receipts. So there's actually two that are missing receipt. One of them is this cherry pie and the other one is this cookie dough. So there's a there's a research method I can use to make sure that it's just not an error on the receiving side. So the fastest way for me to do that is actually to open this PO in another window and I'm actually going to go find the receipt that the warehouse did at the time that this PO was received. And so once I open the PO, what's going to happen is Coop is actually going to show me all of the different um, receipt lines on this PO. So when I scroll down into the items, I can see received, received. I'm actually going to click on one of those numbers. It kind of doesn't matter because the system's going to take you to view receipts and it's going to filter to your PO number, which is really what we're after. So I'm going to get rid of that line detail and I'm going to search. So this is all the receipts that were done on this PO number. And I can see there was like, there was one done on the 23rd, the 16th was a few, and then most of these were done on 923, which if I know anything about the items, I know these particular items, the cookie dough and the pie, should have been received on the 23rd. So I'm actually going to click on the date, and it's going to take me into the, um, to the like receipt detail information and I can see when the warehouse received this they do want me to short pay something and there's a shipping memo that explains what's going on. So I'm going to open this document and I'm going to look once it's downloaded to see exactly what items should be short paid or were rejected. So I can immediately note the cherry pie was missing and the cookie doughs are missing. So like I know that I should not be paying for those, right? So there should be a credit somewhere in my future, either on the Cisco side or because this is a $10,000 invoice and I really don't want to hold it up for $90 worth of product. I'm going to ask AP to short pay this for us. So how we do that is really important. I'm going to come back to the invoice itself and double check, right? So on this, I can see they received four, but I was billed for five. So that's the one that I need to short pay. And I'm going to scroll up to the cherry pie. Two were invoiced, but I did receive one. So all of that jives, right? One is missing, one is missing, so I know that we need to short pay those two lines. So all I need to do is I'm going to scroll down in the invoice document, and I'm going to go to comments. So I can see there's a couple of comments here already, but I'm just going to clarify this for you guys. The first thing we want to do is we want to type in SHTPY. This is a code that AP is going to use to identify any short pays to make sure that they get taken care of and it's not 
um, kind of missed in all of the comments that are put on invoices. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. The second thing is I'm either going to give some details like, hey, you do need to short pay one on line 56 and one on line 55. However, it looks like Jennifer already made some comments. So I'm actually in this scenario, I'm just going to reply to her and say, yes, please make, please short pay the pie and the cookie dough. Otherwise, I would include some details um, just so they know I did the research and I did confirm what should be short paid on what lines. So in this case, I'm going to say, Jennifer, I'm not going to tag her. So I don't want to tag individual people here. I'm just going to respond when they run the report at the AP office. They're going to see the tag of ST. SHTPY. So I'm not going to need to tag anyone individually because Jennifer might not be the person short paying this. So I'm going to say, hey Jennifer, please short pay the pie and the cookie dough. Those were confirmed, not received. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory, right? I'm just going to put a little note there. Make sure that you put those initials S-H-T-P-Y in capitals somewhere in preferably the front of your description. And that way when AP is going through comments, they can easily identify those that need to be short paid. Um, I am going to make sure I comment this to the supplier just so... Um, the supplier can see what's going on, right? I'm notifying the supplier, hey, I'm going to short pay these two items. That way they can choose on their side to do some due diligence, maybe issue that credit and get that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get that. Once I'm done, that's all I have to do. That is how we communicate to AP on short paying an invoice that we have not received a credit on.